Brittany and welcome to day eight of Brittany Bean. I can't believe it's day eight. Like, guys, it's going by so fast for me. Like, I'm actually like, I'm so happy, but I'm so sad at the same time. I'm going to miss uploading every single day, even though I've been doing it now for eight days. It's gonna be so sad to me when November gets here. <laughs> It's gonna be so sad, you guys. Like, oh, I'm already thinking about that. But welcome to day eight of Brittany Bean. I am Wednesday Adams. And as you can see, I am matching Medicine Molly. Like, we look like twins. She always has her back towards me because she thinks she's better than everybody. So. One day, a mother took her son and daughter to the mall to shop all day, have fun, but once they left the mall, they had to drive over train tracks. Their car got stuck in the train tracks, and when they looked over, well, I guess they could hear it too, they saw a train coming in the distance. The mother was freaking out, the children were screaming, but it was too late. The train plowed right into their car. When the police arrived and were searching through all the wreckage, they found the two dead bodies of the children, and they found the legs of a woman, but her upper half was missing. So it was missing, and it was never found. Shortly after, there were numerous murders that happened in this town. All of the victims were children. So children started making up this monster known as Click Clack saying that Click Clack was the one who was killing all these kids. They said she had no legs, it was just her upper half, and she had super long fingernails. And those fingernails were the ones that helped her to get around, to get these children. And the reason why they called her Click Clack was because of the sound her nails would make when she would be chasing you. So that is terrifying. The children in this town had each other's backs because they were always like, you know what? We gotta be indoors by the time that it's dark. And they would tell each other this, like do not come outside when it's, you know, the sun is starting to set, you know, when it's starting to get a little darker in the sky, like you go inside. And the reason was because of click clack, because they said she would start stalking the streets after 6 p.m. When 6 p.m. came along, she would be stalking the streets Stalking the children, taking the children, killing the children by tearing them in half. specifically wanted so she had to go to a few other stores to find these items and when she was walking home she was like okay like please don't be six o'clock so she looked at her at the time and it was 5 52 p.m. so she was like oh my god like it's almost six as she was walking down the street she saw all these parents calling their children to come inside fast and they were locking their doors and windows so that made her extremely nervous so like I don't get it because if all the parents are in on this and they know about click clack and that's why they're locking their doors and windows and stuff why did the mother send her daughter off by herself close to 6 p.m. this girl was just you know speed walking down the street like she was getting super scared and once she actually reached her street and was getting closer to her house she heard this strange sound she heard the click clack click clack click clack and when she turned around her whole street was empty nobody was out it was super silent out there it was you know i'm picturing it in my head right now it is actually so terrifying she would turn around and nothing was there so she started running for her life she finally made it to her house the door was locked all the windows were locked, the curtains were all closed, you could not see inside of her house. She was freaking out on her porch. She started pounding on the door because she's like, girl, where is my mom? Like she sent me off to the grocery store and now she's gonna lock them doors on me. Like she was freaking out. And you know what happened? The mother fell asleep. So she locked all the doors on her daughter, locked all the windows, closed the curtains, and she fell asleep. Great parenting. The girl is still pounding on the door, screaming for her mom to open up the door. And all of a sudden, the pounding stopped. The mother did not hear any of this pounding. She slept 
right through it and her daughter was screaming for her life like oh. anyways the mother finally woke up and she opened up her front door so I don't know why she just opened it maybe she did hear the pounding I don't know but a little too late girlfriend so she opened up the door and the sight that she saw she screamed like a horror movie scream it was just the most awful sight she could she ever saw in her life there was blood everywhere, all over the porch, and written in blood on the doorstep said, Mom, why didn't you open the door? And this girl was never seen again. So obviously, Click Clack got her, and her mom sent her off to the grocery store. Like, I will never understand that one. I will never understand that one. I mean, I'm not a parent. But if I knew about a click clack in the neighborhood, I would never let my child go. Especially at that young, I would never let my child out of my sight, ever. Especially in the world we live in, like, please, I would never do that. So that is the legend of click clack. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video in day eight of Viridiween. Like I said at the beginning, like I can't believe how fast it's going. I can't believe it. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> I'm just, you know, I don't want it to end, but you know. Now tomorrow, guys, I am super excited because I will be revealing my third set. Now I did put a sneak peek of it on um, Instagram not that long ago, and everyone guessed it in the comments. It's very obvious, but I just kind of want to show you guys a little snippet of it. So if you want to see it, it's um, on my Instagram at birdie 44 and um, I'm really excited. That's, it's so cool. It's like right there. <laughs> like you can't see it, only I can. But um, no, it's um, it's it's pretty cool. It's really cool. So um, I'm super excited. Ah, so you guys will be seeing that tomorrow, and I'm super excited for you guys to see my costume tomorrow. So um, it's gonna be so cool. I'm really excited. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I always say in my Birdie Ween videos, I am uploading every single day this month. Every single day there will be a new video on my channel at exactly 4 p.m. Eastern Time. And I'm super excited because I investigated three locations recently, so you guys will be seeing them very soon. The finale of Birdie Ween will be at the Velisca Axe Murder House. And I'm so excited. I was with my friends Michael Scott, Annie Marie, and my brother Jonathan, also known as Cruising as Cruising with Crap <laughs> on YouTube. Sorry guys, like I just have been feeling like crap this week, so uh, my mind's not really here. <laughs> but um, it was so cool, so I'm really excited for you guys to finally see the Velisca Axe Murder House, even though it's at the end of the month, it's the finale, but um, it was really cool very and I'm so excited for you guys to see the other locations that I went to as well because we picked up some crazy evidence so I'm excited to share it with you guys yeah. so as always guys you rock my world in the song lyrics Michael Jackson hashtag team birdie 44 hashtag gorilla runs hey and can you guys guess what my costume is gonna be tomorrow? um it's a number but it's also a name so <laughs> Can you guess though, like, girl, I'm so excited to show you. It's gonna be awesome. So, anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern time. Bye. Why am I speaking that accent? Yo, girl, like, that's so creepy. But I don't know. I just, I go through, like, accents. I have, like, some accent problem. Like, I don't know. But anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern time for Brittyween Day 9. Woo-woo. So, I will see you guys then. Bye.